for the third time in less than 10 days. Mamelodi Sundowns will attempt to go to the pinnacle of the Absa Premiership as they take on Cape Town City tonight here live on your World of Champions at Loftus Firstfeld Stadium in the capital city, Pretoria, Tswani. It's good to have you with us on your World of Champions. Both sides can benefit from a victory tonight because if Cape Town City win by a two-goal margin, they can go above Mamelodi Sundowns. They could go above Orlando Pirates. Massimento looking for Anthony Lafour. Does well at the second time of asking. Little slider through the middle from uh, Temba Zwani. That looked like a handball from a Sundowns player. And they've shot wide through Serino. Well, that's a that's, uh, serious mess. It is, but once again, look at the wing play. I mean, Lafour has consistently finding himself it might have been a handball yes from my boy it's, it comes from the knee into the hand so it happened a little bit too quick it's not like it was deliberately another chance so almost immediately Liverpool beaten memory sundowns are in front and the man who had a handball a few moments ago uses his feet this time Beautiful. The passes. That's the passes that have really turned this game on for Mauloli Sundowns. They continue to deliver. They go direct from the way dip. They can go wide. So the options basically just keeps flowing. Probably going to be Serino. Yes, it is. Just on Serino. With the set piece. Does he drive it in past the wall and hope for a deflection? Presence there from Mamelodi Sundowns in the penalty area. It's a extremely dangerous situation for the Cape side. The citizens can ill afford to concede two in two. Serena does drive it across the goal, and that was not far away. It just needs somebody to somehow connect with the goal. Jolly again, the four again, space at the back post. Lundberg with a great save. Where did Langerman come from? I mean, he was nowhere. I thought it was Babua who actually was challenging. But once Bob Blair misses the ball, it just falls beautiful for Langerman, who anticipated that he might go past. Readiness to strike. Another corner kick. The Cape side. 40 seconds remaining until we get to half time. Ball bounces here. Side netting from Phillies. It would have been a fantastic goal. Mm. Space in the area and Temple! Still in Temple! Somehow Mwini thwarts the danger. Got himself in trouble there, Kennedy Mwini, and I thought him Temple was unlucky. Is it a penalty? Is it a penalty? Well, the referee's given it. Cape Town City straight away have a chance to draw level. Not quite too sure what happened there. No. Is that a handball from Kutsia? Or Langerman, maybe. There's the hand. Hand from Langerman. Easy penalty. The winner goes the wrong way. Cape Town City level at 1 1. And yes, I suppose if one could look at the handball from Tobago Langerman. Was it deliberate? I suppose not. But uh, yeah, your arms are flapping about in the penalty area. And they're not afraid to just knock the ball out for throw-in. Just disrupt the flow of Mamelodi Sundowns. Take it away from the home side. Delightful ball through here. Zwani's on! Still a chance! The goal! How many important goals has the Liberian scored for Mamelodi Sundowns? They needed a goal from a very special player. With the pressure that was mounting, with the decisions maybe not quite falling for them, Mamelodi Sundowns, and then this comes. That's a big relief. Work for Anele Ngong, and now they've got numbers forward again. Have Mamelodi Sundowns, beautiful ball, Serino! Somebody take responsibility, for goodness sake. Charlie's forward. Can we call him for the ball? No offside flag! Is this the final moment for Columbia? Two goals in 
two matches. Sundown surely now at top of the table. How unselfish from Zwane, who also at the moment he could have actually uh, passed, put it past the goalkeeper himself, but could not take chances with the other misses that he had uh, to miss earlier on. Preferred to just roll it across to the Matlambi, who was pretty much on line. What an easy goal! almost like a LaFour's goal. It's a great call. And I think uh, Mwini might have been caught thinking that uh, Clement is still going to be passing around. But I saw him score a cracker like this one against Kune. Sundown to the top of the table tonight. They win by three goals to two. Yeah, it's always good to have uh, five goals for people to come to the stadium. For people at home, as a thriller, it's, it's nice, it's good, it's a good game. And coach, taking a look at Mamlodi Sundowns, for three games in a row, we've seen perhaps some sort of mistakes at the back. This is when it led to Nuruddin going that uh, penalty. Um, what do you have to say about that? Uh, I don't know, I didn't see the penalty, to be honest. Uh, maybe you can show me, I will comment fairly and honestly, that's all the time. Uh, yeah, we never know. We, I told them at half time, 1-0 is not going to help us. We need two more, two goals cushion on this game. Because I know Cape Town City, they don't pack the bus. They play and they will come at us. And that's exactly what they did. Credit to Benny. His team plays well. But we, it was important for us to shut down the midfield, to shut down Tico and don't give uh, Mukeke a little bit enough time on the ball. But he still managed Mukeke to get the ball. But we closed Tico down and hence Benny took him out, you know, because he's, he's a good player and he can distribute the balls and KK played a little strong on him, you know. Um, I like to be second, but be first, he can always say it's okay. We could have been first against Amazulu. We had a chance to be first against Vets, we scored first. We had a chance to score first against uh, Polokwane City, uh, to be honest. He, he, uh, I mean, the third time we get an opportunity and, and, and we took it. But it's not about first, it's about, it's, about, it's about winning the game. It's a long way. You know, we have a, a Celtic here, they play very well. And you know, when you go to Cape Town, Ben will never easily allow, give us a, a, a free passage. Well, coach, congratulations for this free passage this right time around at Loftus Fairsfeld. Yeah, but Sundowns can score more if they want. They should score more goals, man, to be honest. Listen, I think the reserve team won today. Um, it wasn't our greatest, wasn't our best game um, since I've been here. And I think, yeah, I think a lot of things could have come into play. Nerves, too many of our players was not at the game. And yeah, I can't really fault them. They've been giving me every single game. They've, they've been giving me everything and you know and yeah these are the games where you expect the performances naturally just loves but maybe it was one game too much to ask for so yeah so we made it difficult for Sundowns but we weren't at our best so I think they deserve to to get this one and we got another opportunity next week Tuesday to play the same team and I think in Cape Town Things will be a little bit different, but not one of our best games, so I accept defeat. But I'm happy for Kermit, he's, he's came in and he scored a wonder goal. For me, that has to be goal of the season so far. You know, we showed spirit from 3-1 down and some decisions like just, wow. I'm not even going to talk because I might get pulled up again. So, so yeah, so, but well done to Coach Pizzo, well done to Sundowns. Um, they deserve it, you know? And I think the fans that they have, the, the way these guys behind their team is just remarkable. And it's something to envy, you know, from the Sundowns fans. So as an opponent coming here, it's, it's so special to see how the Sundowns fans support their team. So I, I have to give it to them. Thumbs up and they have to continue to, 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 to set the benchmark in, in South African football.